Come on in. To passers-by, Her Majesty's may seem like just a theatre. But this great establishment carries within its doors over 100 years of Adelaide's finest entertainment history. It was early 1912, and with the entertainment business booming, local theatrical impresarios recognised the possibilities of opening a new 3,000-seat theatre on Grote Street. Although it was to be called The Princess, the Tivoli Vaudeville Circuit leased the theatre before construction finished. It opened in 1913 as the New Tivoli, and later, after a series of name changes, was called what we all recognise today, Her Majesty's Theatre. The Madge, as she is fondly known as by her friends, is the only original Tivoli theatre facade still standing in Australia. But that's not to say she hasn't had incredible improvements along the way. When you visit Her Majesty's Theatre, you'll see all the new features from the redevelopment, but you'll also notice special details from the old girls' glory days. Cox Architect had designed the building to nod to its heritage. These ballasts from the 1970s renovation, for example. Historical touches like this are dotted throughout the theatre. Now, without further ado, right this way. And, as always, enjoy the show. Since taking over the management of the theatre in 1988, Adelaide Festival Centre championed its redevelopment potential with the aim to present more national touring works, all while keeping the charm of the theatre, including her heritage facade, perfectly preserved by Hanson Junkin construction throughout the redevelopment process. Some of the changes to her design are considerable in scale, like reintroducing the third tier grand circle and installing accessible seating on each level. Inside the auditorium, there are thousands of individually drilled holes in the walls, painstakingly executed for acoustic exactness. The colour grading of the wood panelling leading to the stage darkens as it approaches, so as not to bounce light to and from the stage. Did you know you can have a seat dedicated to you, a friend or a loved one? All a part of Adelaide Festival Centre Foundation's significant philanthropic campaign to bring this building to life. On stage today is the set for Slingsby's The Tragical Life of Cheese Boy, the first show to grace the new stage. This stage layout is 3.5 metres wider than it was on the opening night in 1913. That's the widest proscenium arch for a theatre of her size in Australia. And the orchestra pit is larger than it was before too. The first four rows you see are removable seating that have been configured for three sizes of orchestras allowing up to 55 musicians to perform. In the brand new fly system, the ropes lift and lower the rigging bars so that the crew can easily hang lights, raise and lower the house curtain, fly in furniture and seats for scene changes. This is also 10 metres taller than its predecessor, making it the deepest fly tower with maximum number of fly lines for a theatre of her size in Australia. Here we have Her Majesty's signature wall home to signatures of the stars who've graced the stage over Her Majesty's history. It took nine days to painstakingly deconstruct this wall before it was restored brick by brick in this position many months later. No one will go on stage without passing this wall. Each performer and crew will have an understanding and appreciation for the history of this stunning theatre, hoping to one day be invited to sign the wall themselves. Now, let's head on. Here is one of the star dressing rooms. The star of the show doesn't have far to travel when it's their time to go on. Let's go upstairs to look at some of the other company areas. Now this is a much larger dressing room. 74 artists can fit comfortably across 13 dressing rooms, plus 30 in the orchestra assembly room. But theatre superstition insists we skip the number 13, so this is dressing room 14. Each room gives performers enough space to prepare comfortably with individual lockers, something you don't see at just any theatre. The green room is where performers and crew come between shows or when they're waiting for their call from the stage manager. They can also watch the show from the TV here to keep an eye on what's happening on stage. Welcome to the rehearsal room. The rehearsal room is an exciting addition to the Madge. It's exactly the same size as the stage's playing area, which allows companies to rehearse directly to scale. 
It's equipped with professionally sprung floors, perfect for dancers, and it's completely soundproof. So even during performances, anyone who isn't on stage can use it. Am I right? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> the space will also be home to community workshops and events provided by Adelaide Festival Centre's Centre Ed and Green Room. You might even learn from these two Australian dance theatre artists. Why don't you go on ahead to the front of house? Here we are on the Grand Circle level. Each of the foyer bars face this heritage wall which used to divide the original theatre and the much smaller building next door at 62 Grote Street. Thanks to the support of Adelaide Festival Centre Foundation, 62 Grote Street was purchased in 2016 to support Adelaide Festival Centre's long-term vision of redeveloping Her Majesty's Theatre. This provides much needed foyer space, room for elevators to access all levels, more bathrooms, more bars and extra merchandise stands. Beautifully designed by Cox Architecture, the aesthetic of the new building evokes the theatre's Edwardian past and responds to the heritage fabric. You can feel that the large voids between levels reinforces a very dramatic architectural experience. The theatre's original grand circle was removed in the 1970s redevelopments and hid behind a false ceiling. Now, the grand circle is back and considerably more comfortable than the steep bleachers that were here in 1913, increasing audience capacity from 970 to 1,467. Through this window, you can see the original external wall of Her Majesty's Theatre, featuring the heritage window and neon sign. 43 of the 48 suppliers and artisans involved in the redevelopment project were South Australian and felt a real sense of pride being connected to this once in a generation project. The T-shape of the winding staircases have been designed to reference an unfolding ballet slipper ribbon. One of the suppliers was Adelaide Press Metal, the same company who were commissioned to create the ceiling in the original Tivoli build. They created a modern version in this redevelopment. Speaking of the pressed metal artisans, this window diagrid that sparkles at night was inspired by the same design. Here on the dress circle floor and throughout the building, you'll notice the Madge 100. These gold tiles are engraved with some of the names of the stars who have performed here. There is a beautiful bar and seating on every level, so when you arrive to the theatre, you can go straight to your tickets level and settle in. Inside the auditorium, Battens and holes have been added to the front facade of the dress and grand circle to improve the acoustic properties of the venue. To perfect the curvature around the front of the circles, the American oak needed to be meticulously hand carved and then hand fitted like a jigsaw puzzle on site. We're about to head into the QBE suite. This corporate hospitality space is another first for Her Majesty's Theatre. Not only for corporate events, any party of 12 can enjoy a nibble pre-show and a tipple at interval, all from the comfort of this luxurious seating. We must thank Adelaide Festival Centre principal partner QBE for this experience. We've returned to the ground floor for you. Now you've seen all the others, you'll know you only need to head to this bar if you're sitting in the stalls. This is also where you'll collect your tickets from Bass. Did you know that Bass is a South Australian ticketing company and is a part of the Adelaide Festival Centre family? So they really do know the best available seating system, even though there isn't a bad seat in this house. We must take a moment here to thank all the incredibly generous donors, without whom this redevelopment could not have happened. Thank you for letting me reacquaint you with one of Adelaide's greatest cultural landmarks. Her Majesty's Theatre is an outstanding addition to the Market Precinct, the City of Adelaide and Arts in South Australia. We hope to see you at a show very soon.